All right, welcome everyone to the 5 minutes or less essential finance YouTube channel. Today, we will be looking at how to calculate taxes on an income real estate property. Let's finagle this bagel. So once you have calculated your NOI, which is the net operating income after having removed all expenses, we will need to bring it back to the taxable income amount. To do so, the formula is taking the NOI, adding the capital expenditures, then we minus depreciation, minus interest, and finally, minus amortized financing costs. You might be wondering why do we have to add and minus all of these things. They all represent things that are non-taxable. For instance, we need to minus depreciation because it can be used as a tax deduction. And besides, how do you tax depreciation anyways? All right. All of the data found in the sheet comes from our previous video, so if you're confused by any of the assumptions, feel free to watch our previous video on the topic. Link in the description. Okay, the first thing we need to add back to NOI is capital expenditures. And last video, we found capital expenditures as a percentage effective gross income. If you're confused about that, please look at our last video. So, we add capital expenditures back to NOI for each year. Next up, we have to minus depreciation. Since this is an American non-residential mortgage, we will employ the straight line method. With this method, you need to take the total building's value and divide it by 39. That amount will be the depreciation that will be removed every single year. Don't forget to only take the value of the building, not the value of the land. Onto the interest portion. If you know well how to find interest on your own, then by all means, skip this part. But if not, this part is going to be a bit more complex, so pay attention. So input your number of months, interest rates, present value and future value, and compute your payments. If you're not sure how to do that, just look at what we inputted on the screen. Okay, the next bit isn't very obvious, so we put all of the instructions on the screen so you can follow. With your financial calculators, press the second button, then the PV button. Now, on your screen, you should see P1 equals 1. Leave that and press the down key. With P2 input 12. Then, press the down key until you see INT, which is short for interest. The amount there is the interest that was paid between the first and the twelfth month. All you have to do is repeat the process. So, press the down button until you get to P1, but this time, click plus and then 12. For P2, click plus and then 12 again. Then press the down key until you reach INT. That answer is your interest payments between the 13th and 24th months. Rinse and repeat. All right, we are almost done. What we need to do now is minus the amortized financing costs. To do so, do you need to take the full mortgage loan amount and multiply it by the upfront financing fees. So in this case, you would do 750,000 times 2%. Then, you need to take that amount and divide it by the remaining number of years left on the mortgage. In this case, 30. The answer is 500 and will be the same throughout the next 5 years. On the 6th year, the amount that we will put down is what's left in the upfront financing costs which is 750,000 times 2%, then minus 500 times 5. Next step, sum all of these amounts to find the taxable income. Then the last step is to actually calculate the amount of taxes. All you have to do is take the taxable income and multiply it by the income tax rate of 30%. There you go. That's how you calculate taxes on a real estate property. Super exciting. If you made it to the end of this video, big props to you. You made it to the big boys club. If you made it to the end, tell us in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. This has been your boy at 5 minutes or less, Essential Finance.